Can I just put this pillow under your hands, please? Inspect the tips of the fingers for tar staining, which is seen in heavy smokers. Look for leukonychia or white nails, which can be seen in heart disease. Ask the patient to raise their hands and look across the nail beds for loss of angle. Check for fluctuance of the nail bed. Okay, and could you put your two index fingers together like that, the nails together like that? To perform Shamrat's test, ask the patient to oppose the nails of the index fingers of each hand. Look for light at the nail bed between the two nails. Examine for the stigmata of anemia, such as general pallor, palmar crease pallor, delayed capillary refill, coilonychia or spoon-shaped nails. Examine the palms and tendons for palmar or tendon xanthoma, which are signs of hyperlipidemia. Look for stigmata of infective endocarditis, which are rarely seen, but if present will manifest as painless dark and Janeway lesions on the palms or pulps of the fingers, splinter hemorrhages in the nails, or painful red Osler nodes over the finger pulps, thinner or hypothenar eminences. All right, I'm just going to check your pulse if that's fine. Measure the patient's pulse for at least 15 seconds or up to 30 seconds and calculate the rate. Note if the rhythm is regular or irregular. Note the character of the waveform or its consistency. And note the volume or amplitude of the pulse, which with experience you will come to recognise as normal, thready or bounding. Okay. Uh, do you have any pain in your shoulder at all? No, I'm just going to hold your arm and lift it up in the air. Okay. So. Check for a collapsing pulse, also known as a water hammer pulse, which is a sign of aortic regurgitation. Check for radio radial delay and radio femoral delay. That's fine.